answer in this question. The background count in a laboratory is given as 20 counts per second. The initial observed count rate of pure sample of nitrogen in this laboratory is 180. Count rate. It means that it is literally talking about the device which is measuring it and it has measured it to be 180. This measurement is including the background count also. So this is not the actual disintegration rate of the sample. But anyways, 180 counts per second. Half-life of the nitrogen is 10. And what is the expected count rate after 30 minutes? So as per the count rate per count per second is concerned and the questions are in, in regards to count rate is concerned, this is the only question like we are getting again and again. This similar question. Uh, and uh, let us do it and try to understand it properly now. What is happening is like 180 counts per second. You have to subtract 20 out of it first of all. So... Count rate means the activity. So A is equal to A naught e raised to power negative lambda t is valid on the sample. And the activity of the sample is actually following the exponential behavior. So your device, the measuring device, it should measure this activity. But there is a background radiation also. So it will be actually measuring the wrong uh, count rate. So the so the measurement it goes somewhat like this the a plus 20 so this is the 20 background so it's actually added 20 here so this is the value that basically you are finding it on the measuring device is it clear so first of all to get the actual initial activity of the sample you need to subtract the background count that is 20 from the total measurement which is 180 so actually I can say that A0 is 180 minus 20 that will be 160 counts per second. So A0 is 160. Now your exponential behavior is valid. All the formulas on the activity that we have earlier done in our previous questions that you might have seen those all questions all formulas are now valid. So the half life is given as 10 the time is this. So there is a very important formula that I have given you this thing earlier many times now we are going to use this formula now it is like the same thing that is written like keep on dividing by two it's like that so a we have to find here so a naught is 160 1 by 2 raised to power 30 minutes divided by 10 which becomes 3 so it is 160 divided by 8 so it clearly becomes 20 counts per second so actually the sample's activity will reduce itself from 160 to 20 in 30 minutes. But your device will not be able to measure this. Why? Because there is a background count of 20 also. So it will measure 20 plus this 20 will also be measured by the device. So your answer is going to be 40 counts per second. Clear? So what is the step number one? Step number one is that first you subtract 20 out of 180. Then you follow the simple methods that we have been following from all the previous questions that we have done. Then whatever is the value that we get, we are going to add the background noise again. So your answer is 40. So there are three steps. Step number one, step number two and step number three. And your answer is 40. This is how we do all the counts per second uh, kind of questions. So my answer for this question is C and let us see what is the answer given in the mark scheme. And so yes, the answer is C as per the mark scheme. This is how we do this question. Okay, dear students. So thanks for watching the video. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.